Hi guys, so this is a video about uh, the three different ways that we can play an F chord in our class. Um, F chord is sort of difficult no matter what, and so uh, it's gonna take a lot of practice to get the F chord properly, but we'll do our best, okay? The first one I'm gonna show you is probably best if you make a C major chord right away. So C major right away. So watch what I do now, okay? I'm going to take my ring finger and my middle finger. I'm just going to move those down one string. Okay. And then I take my first finger and I let it press both the first and second string. It's called a partial bar. You'll see that in the paperwork that we have on this on the site. And we play just the bottom four strings. So right there, so third fret on the fourth string, second fret on the third string, and then first fret on the first two strings. Now we can do that same chord this way. So let's reset our hand. Let's take your first two fingers, put them on in the first fret on the first string and second string. And then you can take your third finger, second fret, third string, and your fourth finger, third fret, fourth string. That's a lot, okay? That one rings a little bit better. So I'll, I'll do that one again. One and two, right here, first fret. Third finger, second fret, third string. Fourth finger, third fret, fourth string. Last one is a bar chord. So a bar chord is when we take our finger, and we place it all the way across, and then we can create different chords by doing that. So that's a bar chord. I'm going to show you this. There's a couple. There's two things that we, that I want you to do. First thing, just take your first finger and bar it across the first fret like this. So I kind of let the tip of my finger touch the bar down, the, the fret down here. And I wrap my finger around. Notice my finger is curved. It's not straight like this because that would be really uncomfortable. So it's a little bit curved. And just see if you can get all the strings to ring. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this piece here, which is called the nut, and I'm just kind of moving where that is. So that's one. That's one exercise. The other one is take your E major chord and play it. Instead of playing it one, two, and three, play it two, three, four. So you gotta practice that. So we take that, slide it up one fret, and then put the bar down. Now, if you have an electric guitar at home, um, it can be, it's pretty, uh, it's a little easier on electric because the neck is a little smaller, the strings don't have as much tension, so it's a, little, it's a little bit easier. I'll do that one more time. So I take the E major chord and I play it with my second, third, and fourth finger. And I slide it up one and put the finger down here. And that's our F chord. So it's not crazy hard to play, but it's really hard to get to and from it and without dropping beats and with getting it clean. So we'll keep working on that. 